Welcome to Touch Technology Review. In today's demonstration, we're going to be taking a look at how you can use AI to generate gaming code. For this particular tutorial, we're going to be using the Grok AI platform, which is part of x.com. It's free and available to everybody by simply going to the x.com website or grok.com website in your web browser. You'll need to create an x.com account, formerly Twitter, in, a, in order to access all the functionality. But once you do, everything is available for free. This is an amazing resource for not only creating gaming code, but doing so much more. And I've created some additional tutorials on exactly what you can do with Grok, which you can see on this channel. And I'll leave a link to some of those videos in the description box below. But I was quite intrigued when I saw a lot of publicity around the fact that Grok is centering itself around the gaming community and encouraging game coders to use the platform to generate code. The easiest way for AI to generate a game is to give it an existing example. So we're going to be using Space Invaders, which is a classic retro game for our example. So in order to get Grok to generate the code for us, I'm simply going to ask for the code to the Space Invaders game. More specifically, I'm going to use JavaScript as the code so that I can easily test it in a freely available online platform. This is often the easiest way for non-coders to play around with code online in an intuitive way and get real-time feedback via the preview mode. So when you're creating games, quite often if you're using trying to develop games for the iOS platform or any other, you will be using other languages, which you can also get Grok to generate. But for this example, I'm using very simple JavaScript to generate my game code. Click on the Grok icon on the left-hand side, and in the prompt window, you'll see two buttons, Deep Search and Think Mode. To start with, we're going to click on Deep Search. So this is going to allow Grok to do a thorough search throughout the internet for all existing resources related to this inquiry. So let's ask Grok to create a Space Invaders game using JavaScript. Click on Deep Search and then click on the arrow in the bottom right-hand corner to generate the response. You'll notice that in the results window, Grok is exploring game creation considering how to approach building a game with moving aliens and a player ship. And it's searching through various repositories, including GitHub, YouTube videos, and certain websites where this game has been coded and generated in the past. So the deep search feature scours the internet looking for resources that can be used to help generate the code. Once it's done so, it gives you an outline of its approach, getting started, following the tutorial, using the reference code, live demo, etc., etc. So you can read through that if you're in interested in the approach. Otherwise, you can just move on to the next step. And this time, we're going to click on the Think button, which is prompting Grok AI to actually execute those ideas, those concepts into actual code that we can use. So now I'm asking it to create all the code that I need, including all sprites, so that I can copy and paste it into p5js.org. And again, you'll see the whole thought process going on in the window. This process usually only takes one or two minutes. In this example, two minutes and 24 seconds for it to generate all of the game features of Space Invaders. It gives you a summary of what it's created, some instructions and the complete code. So I'm going to click on the copy button just underneath the complete code window. And if you look just above, it does provide you with instructions on how you can test it. And it says you can open the p5.js web editor copy the code below into the editor, click the play button to run the game. 
Use the left and right arrow keys to move the ship and the space bar to shoot. So to test it out, we are now going to go into p5js.org, click on the start coding button on the bottom left hand corner, click on the sketch.js file and copy and paste all of the instructions provided by Grok directly into the window and then click on the play button. And there you have it, as you can see, the basic fundamental mechanics of a Space Invaders game playing in our test environment. Now, the only thing is you'll see that it's a little bit dull given that it's used basic squares as the sprites. So what about if you wanted to go a little bit further and customize the game by creating your own game sprites? So to do that, I'm going to go online and have a look for a spaceship and invader graphics and i'll just do a basic search for that and then i'll download them onto my desktop and i'll prepare them as png files and we'll then get grok to create a second version of the space invaders game using customized sprites now we're going to go back into grok and we're going to ask it to replace the basic sprites with images of invaders and a spaceship. And now Grok will regenerate the code and allow for these images. Now that we have that code, let's go back to the p5js.org editor. Before we run the code, we're gonna click on the plus button next to sketch files. And we're going to click on the upload file option. And we're going to drag both of the sprites that we created, the invader graphics and the spaceship into the upload section. And this will upload them in the same folder as the main index file, sketch.js and style.css file. So if you're going to be using this later on, on a website, you just make sure that you copy and paste all those files directly into the same directory. Make sure that the file name of the PNG sprites that you created are the same as referenced in the code. Click on play and you should see the Space Invaders game appear with your customized sprites. You can use any graphics that you like to further customize the game, but as you can see, that's a much better looking example of Space Invaders already, just with this basic customization. One of the other things that I noticed was that the shooting speed was a little bit slow. If you understand the basics of JavaScript, you can go in and have a look at the code, find out where the speed of shooting is referenced in code and make your own changes. If you're not really sure how to do it, you can go back into Grok, tell it exactly what you want in plain English, and then it will generate the code for you. So you could just simply say, make the shooter shoot twice as fast you can go back into the p5js.org editor and you can manually adjust the code or if you prefer copy and paste it and you'll see that the shooter is now twice as fast you can continue to customize the game to your heart's desire going backwards and forwards from grok asking it to perform additions changes any customizations that you want for example, I'd like to see the invaders shoot back at the spaceship as per the original game. So in order to do that, I could go back into Grok and ask that very question to have the invaders shoot at the spaceship. It will then have a bit of a think about it, generate the code. You can then copy and paste it back into the p5.js sketch file. Click on play and you'll have a further refined version of the game. And you can keep on going, adding more elements until you get closer and closer to the gaming objective that you're trying to achieve. As I said, this is just a really basic demonstration using the classic Space Invaders game as a reference. I'm sure you could be a lot more creative if you spend a little bit more time coming up with some ideas and going through this workflow to create some really unique and amazing games. If you do then want to deploy this as a self-contained game on your own website, for example, you can just copy and paste these files into a web folder on your server 
and it will be able to play directly online on your web hosting environment. So a very simple way to create basic games using Grok AI. Hopefully you found this information helpful. If you have any comments or questions, or indeed if you've tested it out yourself and have examples to share, feel free to let us know about these in the comments box below. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.